song, song is in and of itself a kind of narration, even even if it's a, even if it's a static form. When we say the word narration, we always think we're trying to get a story across. But sometimes 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 that story is is a reflection. I think the the idea of a the idea of a diary, or why why I said that, the song is a is a diary of our existence, is that at any given time that human beings have walked <laughs> or breathed on this earth, they have in fact sung or told stories or told of themselves. It's a it's as instinctual a, a, a need for human beings to communicate, to tell a story or to communicate who they are, where they have been, either in music or in word, because those are actually symbols of our thought processes, our psychology. And any time uh, that happens, whether it becomes uh, then a tradition that is just handed down by mouth, or, or in fact, as it became a written word, it's sort of a, it's sort of a, a map of where we've been, who's been there before, what did they see, what did they, what did they think. And what I find terribly fascinating about song is that even though the context will change like epochs change and generations come and go, in fact, that instinctual stuff that is told from person to person, whenever and whenever it will be, uh, becomes a kind of song. Uh, song is a metaphor of the giving of, its, of the soul, really. And the collection that we have from, say, well, as early as you want to go back, but the real predominant uh, song collection that we deal with is about 300 years old. That is a really wonderful written diary of who came and went and what they thought under what context that they were living in. And I find that the most fascinating part of, of song literature. When, when Thomas Hampson is uh, singing Mahler, I really feel that he, he opens that world of Mahler to, to us and I um, don't think that um, there is any anyone else that can do that in the same way as he does it. And I personally also feel strongly that we both um, can join ex exactly the same direction in interpreting these Mahala songs. And um, I always feel a wrong, uh, a rich variety when he is uh, singing Mahala between being very, very tender and the, the biggest um, amount of power and force. Mahler's relationship to Deskram und Wunderhorn, it seems to me, is the, is the closest um, mirror that we can find of, of, I think, his personal ideas of life, um, youth, age, uh, craziness of our passions, obligerance of youth, rashness of youth, the futility of, of love and hate, the, the hatred for, for violence. These things are not just Mahler, they're Knab und Wunderhorn. I mean, Goethe said of Des Knab und Wunderhorn, if every intelligent family only had two books on their shelves, one would be for earthly things, Des Knab und Wunderhorn, and for heavenly things, the Holy Bible. I also feel that it's symphonic in one way and it's typical piano music in the other way. It's a kind of balance between both. As you know, Mahler wrote two versions of these songs and one is for orchestra and the other one is for piano. So he decided clearly between the two uh, possibilities to express oneself. And um, I feel strongly that Mahler's world somehow comes out of myself when I play it. Um, I don't have to do much with it, I just have to let it flow. And I felt this from the very beginning when I first met Mahler's music, and this feeling becomes stronger and stronger, and so I feel very familiar with it. And at a certain moment then you don't feel it is very difficult.
Hockt an das Fenster den Lindenbaum mit Zweigen Blüten behangen. Steh auf, steh auf, was liegst du im Traum? Die Sonne ist aufgegangen. Steh auf, steh auf. Lerche ist wach, die Büsche wien, die Bienen summen und käfer. Steh auf, steh auf, und ein wunderndes Lieb hab ich auch schon gesehen. Steh auf, lang schläfer, Zu Tode gefallen, Tode gefallen, an eine grünen Weiden, Weiden, Weiden. Kuckuck ist tot, Kuckuck ist tot, hat sich zu Tod gefallen. Wir soll uns denn den Sommer lang die Zeit und Weil vertreiben? Wir sollen uns denn den Sommer lang die Zeit und Weil vertreiben. Ei, da soll wohl Frau Nachtigall, die sitzt auf grünem Zweige, die kleine, feine Nachtigall, die liebe, süße Nachtigall. Sie singt und springt, ist allzeit froh, wenn andere Vögel schweigen. Warten auf Frau Nachtigall, die wohnt im grünen Tage. Und wenn der Kuckuck zu Ende ist, dann fängt sie an zu schlagen. Bald bin ich allein. Was hilft mir das Grasen, wenn sie schön nichts schneit? Was hilft mir ein Schätzen, wenn's bei mir nicht bleibt? So soll ich den Grasen am Neckar am Rhein. So werf ich mein goldenes Ringlein hinein. Es fließt. 
Fließet ihm lecker als fließet ihm rein, soll schwimmen hinunter ins Mädchen hinein. What is exciting, of course, the thrust of the evening is Deskalamad Wunderhorn, the youth magic horn, which uh, Mahler set, I think, what, 27 poems from or 25 poems from. And this early romantic, meaning 19th century, early 19th century, actually late 18th century, early 19th century work by uh, Clemens Brentano and Achim von Arnim is a collection of written poems and spoken poems through various dialects and various um, genres, various histories, various streams, channeling. If you wanted to study that, it'd be quite fascinating, very much like this diary idea. Um, it landed into a three volume set um, of, of poems that Mahler was drawn to very early in his, in his childhood and knew very well, um, and then set to music, and according to his own letters, needed that first person narration um, I take that very seriously in, in the programming of, of this evening, in that the first person narration is, however, different facets of life. And some of them are sort of parables, um, always didactic par parables uh, of, of um, <laughs> great profundity in very simple terms, like Lob des Hohenverstands, where the Nachtigall and the, and the Kuckuck have a, have a competition in, in, in music, and who can sing better. I think the really profound piece in the nature's parables is, of course, the Antonius uh, Fischpredigt, um, and where the metaphor of the different fishes, of course, fits uncomfortably but very well into uh, the human beings that are partaking in the song, uh, the public, and the singer. Einem tiefen Tal, Kuckuck und Nachtigall täten ein Wettanschlagen zu singen um das Meisterstück. Gewinn ist Kunst, Gewinn ist Glück, dann soll er davon tragen. So dir's gefällt, hab ich den Richter wählt und tät gleich den Esel ernennen, denn weil er hat zwei Ohren groß, Ohren groß, Ohren groß, so kann er hören des Hobos und was recht ist kennen. Sie flogen vor dem Richter bald. 
Wie dem die Sache war, erzählt so, wer sie sollten singen. Sprach, du machst mir's kraus. Gieh, gieh, ich kann's im Topf nicht bringen. Der Kuckuck drauf ging an, geschwind sein Sang durch Terz und Quark und Quint. Dem Esel gefiel, er sprach nur, wart, 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 dein Urteil will ich sprechen, ja sprechen. Sungen hast du Nachtigall, aber Kuckuck singst gut Choral, gut Choral und hältst den Takt fein innen, fein innen. Da sprech ich nach mein hohen Verstand, hohen Verstand, hohen Verstand und hast es gleich ein ganzes Land, so lass ich dich gewinnen, gewinnen. I think throughout the, the entire work of Mahler, Lied is all, has always been the nucleus from, from which uh, everything uh, comes, out of which everything comes. Um, I think the Lied maybe is a little bit more private uh, or a lot more private than the symphonic work. So, um, for example, if you compare the humor of um, Antonius to Padua Fish Predigt with the movement to which it was transferred in the second symphony, you will realize that um, he takes much more time for that kind of humor and um, these um, connotations behind in the song than in the symphonic movement, which maybe also may have to do with uh, that in the symphony you have so many people to play. You are not the same free, I think, as you are um, with uh, just a team of two. Antonius zur Predigt, die Kirche fährt ledig, er geht zu den Flüssen und predigt den Fischen. Sie schlagen mit den Schwänzen, im Sonnenschein glänzen, im Sonnenschein, Sonnenschein glänzen, sie glänzen, sie glänzen. Die Karpfen mit Rogen sind all hier erzogen, hatten Beule auf Riesen sich zu verfließen. Kein Predigt niemalen, den Fischen so gefallen. Hechte, die immer zu fechten, sind eigens erschwommen zu hören den Frommen. Aus den Fantasten, die immer so fasten, die stoffisch, ich meine, zu Friedrich erscheinen. Kein Predigt niemanden, den stoffisch so gefallen. Die vornehme Schmausen, die 
selbst sich bequemen, die Predigt vernehmen, auch Krebse Schildkröten, sonst langsame Boten, steigen eilig vom Grund zu hören diesen Mund. Ein Predigt niemals. Krebsen so gefallen, Fisch große, Fisch klein, vor dem und gemein, erheben die Köpfe wie verständige Geschöpfe. Auf Gottes Begehren, die Predigt anhören. sich ich wendet. Die Hechte bleiben Diebe, die alle viel lieben. Die Predigt hat gefallen, sie bleiben wie die alle. Die Krebs gehen zurück, die Stofffische bleiben dicke, die Karpfen viel fressen, die Predigt vergessen, vergessen. Die Predigt hat gefallen, sie bleiben wie alle. Die Predigt hat gefallen, hat gefallen. didn't know each other, but friends of ours, close friends, did know each of us separately. And they thought this might be a good team, and they told each of us. And um, then we just met, and our first concert then was a small concert during a congregation of singing teachers, which was a very funny atmosphere, but um, this was our first concert. And then soon many other concerts followed, because we felt very, very well together and we enjoyed very much making music together. And also Mahler came very soon into our life. I think the first public concert we did, um, this was on a tour in Italy, um, contained the second half was just Mahler. Not only is he a, a marvelous pianist, and, and what was so incredible is his adaptability, which was very exciting for a singer, but um, also as a person, it was just clear that you know, we, we, we thought along the same lines and, and just such a, a joy to work with and so open and so, so able, you know. I, for me, anything I can, so we, we, try, we chide each other, you know, when we're working sometimes we say, well, you know, what's wrong with that? Well, it kind of sounded like a song, you know. We're, we're so, don't get musical, tell a story. I believe song has three people at work, your left hand, your right hand, and your voice. Uh, it's a continual and perpetual dialogue, and, and that kind of dialogue I cherish uh, among my colleagues the most, and, and Wolfram and I have, have been working a lot, and, and in 1995 actually for the first time did all of Gustav Mahler's songs in two days at the, at the famed Amsterdam Concertgebouw Mahler Festival. That was our sort of test by fire, as it were. Heute marschieren wir Juffe, Juffe, Morgen marschieren wir zu dem hohen Tor hinaus, zum hohen Tor hinaus, aus. Reist du denn schon fort, je, je mein Liebster? Kommst nie mehr wieder heim, je, je mein Liebster? Heute marschieren wir, juhe, juhe, Hey, du schwarzbrauns Mägelein, unsere Lieb ist noch nicht aus, die Lieb ist noch nicht aus, aus. Trink du ein Gläschen Wein zur Gesundheit, dein und mein. Siehst du diesen Strauß am Hut, jetzt so heiß marschieren gut. Nimm 
das Tüchlein aus dir tasch, deine Tränlein mit Abwasch. Heute marschieren wir, Juppe, Juppe, Himmel, 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 Morgen marschieren wir, Juppe, Himmel, Himmel, Ich will ins Kloster gehen, weil mein Schatz davon geht. Wo geht's denn hin, mein Schatz? Gehst du fort, heut schon fort, und kommst nimmer wieder. Ach, wie wird's traurig sein hier in dem Städtchen. Wie bald vergisst du mein, ich armes Mädchen. Morgen marschieren wir, Juppe, Juppe, Himmel, Himmel, Tröst dich, mein lieber Schatz, im Mai blühen gar vier Blümelein. Die Lieb ist noch nicht aus, 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 aus. Du hast gesagt, du wirst mich nehmen, so bald der Sommer kommt. Der Sommer ist gekommen, ja komm, du hast mich nicht genommen, ja genommen. Gib üble, gib, gib, nimm mich, gib üble, gib, gib, nimm mich. Geld ja, Geld ja, Geld ja, du nimmst mich noch. Wie soll ich dich denn nehmen, die weil ich dich schon hab? Und wenn ich halt an dich gedenk, und wenn ich halt an dich gedenk, so mein ich, so mein ich, so mein ich alle Weile, ich wär schon bei dir. From that, that willful turn that we do and that I've programmed into early songs and later songs, as it were, of, of Mahler's, but to go through this in the, in the tonality and then to end in Ravelge in D minor and come straight out of that D minor ending of, of Strasbourg, which has so much romance, romanticism and Rhineland in it, to this to the completely almost Petrushkian, Stravinskian musical language that Mahler was certainly foreshadowing and to end with this incredible dialogue of Ravelge, which is very often mistranslated in English at the end that, that the boy is standing in front of his sweetheart's house again, and that's not true. He brings a, a troop of skeletons, and the only thing, it's like if you could picture in black and white and color at the same time, the only thing viscerally in color is the drum. Schatz, da ging mein Trauern an. Und aus Albern hört ich drüben wohl an Stimmen ins Vaterland muss ich hinüber schwimmen. Das ging ja nicht an, das ging ja nicht an. Ein Stund in der Nacht, sie haben mich gebracht. Sie führten mich gleich vor des Hauptmanns Haus. Ach Gott, sie fischten mich im Strome aus. Mit mir ist es aus, mit mir ist es aus. Frühmorgen. 
morgens um 10 Uhr stellt man mich vor's Regiment. Ich soll da bitten um Pardon, um Pardon, und ich bekomme doch meinen Lohn, und ich bekomme doch meinen Lohn, das weiß ich schon, das weiß ich schon. Ich muss 
All these boys, all these lives, all these lads have been sacrificed to that <laughs> March, 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 ich muss bis zum Tod sterben, ah, das muss ich. And this drang, this, this incredible power that we have in ourselves after duty and call to go there. Good, we have a pause and we go in now to Tambuch said. An innocent boy, probably again deserted, sings a very 
poignant, almost transcendental Abschieds lead, farewell, uh, to the stones, to the hills, to the mountains, to the officers, to the corporal, to the musketeer.
Then we have Liedtes verfolgt in dem Turm, back to back with Wurde schon in Trompetenblasen. That is way, the way you will find it on the manuscript in the Morgan Library. Mahler was, this is a collection of songs, and the order of these songs is completely at will. It's been miswritten about and, and misanalyzed for many years, but in fact, the only cycle is Kindertotenlieder, and other than that, Mahler begged people to try different configurations, different kinds of voices. Also, he himself had concerts with different kinds of voices. He wrote once that, that when he thinks of himself or when he's writing songs, he thinks of himself and therefore it's more of a baritone kind of voice. Fine, whether that means that a baritone should sing them. I, these kinds of questions I think are a bit silly. The point is to sing the songs and, and to understand them. And, and Mahler loved, and as far as I can tell, I've always only seen Lied des Verfolgten im Turm, which is a, again the male, the, the, the masculine feminine dialogue über, uh, over two different kinds of realities, in other words, life and death. And there's always this, um, this, this particular song reminds me very much of that wonderful Moritz von, uh, Moritz von Schwind uh, painting of the, of the Gefangenenjäger. And uh, he's in the Turm, and he's sitting on this sack of hay, and he's looking up there, and he knows he's caught, you can see it in his face, he's been, you know, whatever is going to happen to him. And in his imagination, he sees six or seven elves standing on their shoulders all the way up to the top where the, where the bars are across the windows, sawing and trying to get them out the windows. And I imagine very clearly this guy saying, you know, die Gedanken sind frei, you know, they can, they can arrest me, they can kill me, they can do whatever they want, but in fact, God damn it, what I've thought of and how I think about it and the freedom that I have in my mind, no one can take this from me. This is very, very much pre-revolution stuff. This, is, this was extremely audacious thinking at the time. Um, and, and the woman answers him and says, you know, well, you, you know, if you would, she actually, she placates him and it's almost a bit devilly because there's something that says, if you would take a lesser high road, you may not die for this. And he re reputes her. And when she says, you know, I, if, if I were only dead, I could stay with you, which is actually a foreboding when she's saying, look, you're going to die. This is not going to come out. And he says, because, because you fatzak, because you have not uh, done, have, have not died because you're not with me, because, because you do take the lower road and I take the high road. Your love, I rescind, I reject. Because die Gedanken sind frei. Die Gedanken sind frei, wir kann sie erraten, sie rauschen vorbei wie nächtliche Schatten. Kein Mensch kann sie wissen, Kein Jäger sie schießen, es bleibt dabei, es bleibt dabei, die Gedanken sind frei. Im Sommer ist gut lustig sein, auf hohen wilden Heiden. Dort findet man den Plätzelein, mein Herz verliebte Schätzelein. Von dir, von dir mag ich nicht scheiden. Und sperrt 
man nicht ein in finstere Kerke. Dies alles sind nur, dies alles sind nur vergebliche Werke. Denn meine Gedanken zerreißen dich allein und mauern es ein. Die Gedanken sind frei, die Gedanken sind frei. Auf hohen wilden Bergen. Man ist da ewig ganz allein auf hohen wilden Bergen. Man hört da gar kein Kindergeschrei, kein Kindergeschrei. Die Luft macht einen da Seins wie es will, und wenn es sich schickt, nur alles, alles sei in der Stille, nur alles in der Stille, alles in der Stille. Mein Wunsch und Begehren, niemand kann's wehren, es bleibt dabei, die Gedanken sind frei, die Gedanken sind frei. I don't think sometimes we, you know, well now we're in very, very trying times again. And we always will be and always have been through history. And I don't think we should ever possibly underestimate the, the beauty, value, and, and indigenous right of human beings to think and believe and their own beliefs and to have their own beliefs. This has not always been the case through, through Central Europe the last 150, 200 years. Wo die schönen Trompeten blasen ist für mich one of the great metaphoric dialogues of life and death. It's transcendental. In fact, the last group I call, you know, songs of, of life and transcendence. It's, it's too long to analyze. It's too full of too many metaphors. And, and the metaphors also in this literature, why, why, it, why it makes me so excited is because, you know, there's all sorts of secret languages going on. Something called the Bildersprache is something that we've lost touch with a lot. It's, it's the picture language of the early German romantics where different colors and things are, are, are metaphors for different feelings. Before Heine, most poetry, when it was dealing with human feeling, was in kind of a laboratory, kind of a third person. So if you, if you were talking about a particular pain or a particular uh, grief or, a, or, or something that a human being is going through, you had to either set it up in a metaphor in nature hurting flowers or colors that clash or, or some, something that happened, 
or you projected yourself into that. With Heine, Heine turned that all upside down and said, no, wait a minute, we're going to go right to the first person. And that, that little bitty song, Die Rose, Die Lili, Die Kleine, Die Feine, die, he turns the metaphors of nature perfectly into the first person of, no, it's her. It's, no, it's not a flower. It is her. I don't care about your flowers. It's her. Her I adore, I want, and she won't have me, and I'm dying because of it. Before that, we didn't have that. And in the Volition and Tompedenblasen, we have this fantastic veil of, of, of dream. And it's very interesting that, that the only thing Mahler says about this song is it should be like a dream throughout. And that's the only marking he gives.
We turn a, after the Schönen Trompetenblasen, we turn a very sharp corner back to reality and life and that fantastic dialogue between starving child and what you do with the mother is a little bit tricky. You have to decide whether she's a good person or a, or a bad person or whether she's caught in the same fate. I, ha I can't get past a certain sympathy to her plight. I don't think it's a neglect of the child, but I think it's a placating that goes too far. She's obviously impotent to relieve his hunger. I think what is more um, striking is how Mahler has set this in this sort of thrashing machine kind of chaka 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 You know, these, these motion perpetuum that uh, have a very machine-like kind of sound to them. And it just kind of mills them both up and spits them out. Mutter, ach Mutter, es hungert mich. Gib mir Blut, sonst sterbe ich. Warte nur, warte nur, mein liebes Kind. Morgen wollen wir ernten geschwind. Das Korn geerntet war, rief das Kind noch immer da. Mutter, ach Mutter, es hungert mich. Gib mir Brot, so sterbe ich. Ich warte nur, warte nur, mein liebes Kind. Morgen wollen wir dreschen geschwind. Und als das Korn gedroschen war, rief das Kind noch immer da. Mutter, Mutter, es hungert mich. Gib mir Blut zu sterben. Mein liebes 
Himmels Kind. Morgen wollen wir backen geschwind. Das Brot gebacken war. Dann das Kind auf der Tote in Bahn. This was a, this, these were extremely audacious and very powerful thoughts in a child, children's book of poems. There's no doubt to me that, that uh, by the grace of God, it wasn't censored. Our lives would be infinitely less rich and knowledgeable if we didn't have this book of poems. And our musical world would be infinitely less interesting than if Mahler had not decided to make these fantastic fantastic songs that, that have so many musical possibilities to talk about as well, that took song literature right out of the hands of Schumann and, and put it right into the hands of the 20th century. Von aller Hand 
They are all our favorites in the moment I, I play it. Of course, from time to time, there are some songs I love more in that moment and some no, I even don't want to say less. Um, in any concert, especially with a good audience, our last song, Urlicht, is a particular experience also for us on, on stage. And sometimes it's difficult to keep back your own emotions, not to go too far because you still have to play. It seems such a natural and beautiful sort of amen to, to bring the Urlicht. Urlicht, the original light and somehow try and encase all of that temporal stuff that gives us a glimpse of heaven and all those heavenly things that try and, and, and bring us closer on earth to be, to be decent and happy and peaceful. And the Urlicht is such a willful and wonderful testament of, of believing that, that in fact one comes from God and goes back home to God. And it was last analysis will always be God who makes that, whatever your God or whoever your God is, that will make your path a circle or a spiral up to complete what it is that you are as a human being. That the divine actually is in all of us, that we must allow ourselves to be awakened to our God. And this is what gives us transcendence from the temporal life. We found that it is um, a fantastic um, conclusion of that um, Wunderhorn, uh, of these uh, Wunderhorn songs in that program, because he, um, it, it's like, it's not some, anything uh, strange to the program, it's like a wonderful final point, a beautiful but, final button, or whatever you may call it, uh, which is put to the end of that program. So we found it is very Wunderhornian and that's why we choose it.
Ach nein, ich ließ mich nicht abweisen. 